M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. So I'm sat here wait, waiting for Nico to come out of the school. So I've just uh, released a, a video about the new Anytone 890UV. I'm sort of sat here listening to my handheld as well. So, and then one of the first uh, questions, I knew that people would say this, because it, the new 890UV uh, does NXDN. And uh, so I, the obvious thing that I knew people would start asking about is M is M17. Now the term M17 is, is is chucked around very often. You know, people hands have heard of M17, which is like an unlicensed version of um, of DMI, let's say, and that is a very loose way of saying it. It's completely down designed from the ground up. And there is some hardware out there. Some there's a couple of stations that have started, or companies that have made some M17 radios and M17 products that will turn your your M17 radio, uh, your a radio into M17. And even hotspots of uh, people like WPSD had it. I'm not sure if he still has, but Pistar added it as well. So. It, it's good, it's excellent experimentation, and you've got to take your hat off if you go to the M17 website. Um, it's all very, you know, very good information to take in, learning, experimentation, and all that. But what I find is that people just mention M17 just because they, they've heard of it, yeah? Uh, I, I get it so much, because when you say, well, who do you talk to? What, what, what device have you got? Where do you connect? What room is active? You know, because in the at the end of the day, all of these products are designed so we can talk to people. Now, I don't find anywhere. Yeah. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Um, tell me where where can I go using M17? What equipment shall I use? And actually speak to people. Yeah. Uh, this isn't taking away the fact that I completely take my hat off to any development and developers. Excellent. But who do we talk to? So why do people keep saying M17 this, M17 that? It's just because they've heard of it, yeah? And to me, it, to really, if you want to really advance M17, um, we need to have M17 rooms that are active. We need to have equipment that is affordable. And I'm talking £40 affordable. Then people will start buying the M17 radios. Um, and then we need the active rooms. We need someone keeping these rooms busy and active. Then M17 becomes something. Otherwise, it's going to carry on being what it is. And that is several years of developers doing excellent developing. But, no one, but not enough people actually using it to make it worthwhile. Now, DMR, you can't just copy DMR. It's a licensed product. There's a value to DMR. You can't just copy their chip because you you know they could tell you off yeah but there's so many DMR operators out there radios and talk groups that you can now buy DMR radios um, for literally like 38 pound if you go for the Radtel RT4D very complicated radio that actually has air band and covers other bands as well VHF UHF even four meters I believe it has a band scope it's black and white it's tiny little thing but it's excellent now who cares if it's licensed, if you can get it for 40 quid and it's really busy, and this is what I'm saying, M17 people, give us something to use, give us something to use, yeah, um, but thank you very much for all your hard work development, I completely appreciate that, but give us something please.